Hi Farsign, welcome to my channel. We're doing your um, mm, Saturday <laughs> Daily Love Soulmate. This is the... Are you guys in an angle? I think you guys are fine. Let me see. You know me. I always change stuff. Oh, there you go. Mm-hmm. I think that's better. <laughs> oh, I'm still a little... Oh, it's bothering me. The wire. Alright, anyway. <laughs> you know how kind it is. It's, Anyhow, this is going to be for your daily love soulmate relationship for the 16th Saturday. New deck again, as always. Um, I always break the new deck, by the way, in the daily talk with Sal. <laughs> okay, just to let you guys know. Here we go for the fire sign. Okay, let's see what's going on with you guys. Extended read, still the same. We'll have how it pans out. And at the same time, how they feel towards you in the situation that you're in. Links down there. Help yourself. Let's go Saturday. Oh my golly. Amazing day just to be, you know, in good vibration. Okay, here we go. Mm, you have here the moon card, of course. Secrecy, feelings, you know, these are the things that are hidden. When it's hidden, it's meant not to be seen, right? This is the energy of the universe. So, with the major arcana, one thing that you have to accept is that it's not in our control, right? So people butcher the moon card with regards to, oh, it's being a secret, right? How come, you know, um, you know, it, it, you have to respect the secrecy of the universe. If it's not yet revealing time, it's not yet revealing time. So someone here is not revealing their feelings, is not revealing who they are, because it takes a cycle. So that can be you, fire sign, or it can be dealing with a water sign, it can be a Piscean, or Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio. Let's see how it pans out. Ace of Swords, see, someone's forcing communication. They're not forcing, but you know what? I, I want to talk to you straight. I want to have a discussion with you. Let's give it a go. I want clarity. Things has been in the dark for so long. It's time to cut things down. This is a person who is, well, Ace of Swords. I want clarity. I want truth. I want honesty. Other person is not, refu is, um, is not telling how, it, how this other person wants it. So pick a, pick a side, and then we'll begin, okay? So as it pans out with a person who's not revealing themselves, who's not telling you how they feel, Queen of Swords, see, they match you. Fine. You want the truth, I'll tell you the truth. You know, Queen of Swords energy, this is about, all right, you want to cut me, I'll cut you too. Well, both people. This is, this is becoming a Five of Swords energy now. Because the other person, it's like, if I'm hiding it, it's because I have feelings. I have feelings that I have right to not tell you right now. Queen of Swords. Because they can, they can be hurt. This communication can be something that is hurting. You know, it's not healing. Swords are meant to cut, right? So someone wants to cut through the chase, cutting people off. And the other person is headstrong also. You could be dealing with an air sign. Okay, first sign. Let's see. And the other person has, oh, Eight of Wands. Wow, a lot of communication over here, back and forth, back and forth. You, this other person is not, is not gonna stop texting. They will keep going. They will just keep messaging, you know. But the other person is engaged, though, you know. But they are not getting what they want. Yes, I am engaging in a conversation. Yes, we are talking back and forth, but there is no clarity because the moon card, first card, is strongest. Both first card, of course. So those are strongest energy for me. And as it pans out with the Queen of Swords, Temperance. You see, I was calling for this card also. Can be a Sagittarian. Are you Sagittarian? Wants the clarity, but I'm um, not clarity. But I mean, you want them to be balanced. If you're gonna talk to me, yes, let's communicate, but let's not argue. Let's remain civil. Someone here, of course, knows the connection of the, the, the Two of Cups. Meaning, this person even knows the connection, the soul connection. They know. The other person is outright wanting the connection. Eight of Wands, because they got bitten by Cupid's arrow. So this person is very much in love. Can be someone from a distance. The moon card can be traveling to water. Other person, yeah, very possessive. Devil card. Materialism, I want you. I told you already. I want to be with you. Let's be together. Person is not letting go, not letting go of the situation, not letting go of anything. This is, you know, to the point of obsessing to talking. <laughs> I don't know, you know, it's like whoever is obsessed with talking, fire sign, okay? Because, I mean, we all have different things in our chart, but the person here is just 
they're really gonna force themselves to get the truth. I don't know what 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 though that they're hiding because they want to remain balanced before they open up. Okay, but now I'm gonna see the crowning energy with both both people sharing this energy. Five of Wands. There you go. Now there's a fight. Now there is a fight. Struggle. Five is uncomfortable. Here you go. You want to fight? I bring the fight. This is the Wands energy. This is gonna go um, in the sense it's like it's like wildfire, you know, because they don't get what they want. But sometimes I told you you have to respect the Moon card. You have to respect the energy of the universe. It's a major arcana. Respect the Temperance. Respect the Lovers. Even the Devil card. You know, this possession over here is like, I'm not saying, you know, bow down to the devil, but respect it in the sense that, you know, I mean, well, this one has no respect though. The other person has no respect. I'm just saying, okay? All right. So I'm going to continue this reading, guys. And also I'm going to try to get um, the energy of the moon card with respect to what they're not telling you. Okay? So um, the link is down there. Thank you very much. Enjoy your Saturday. I'll see you guys again. Bye.